What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. Not a bad sight this morning. We got a Mark II Jetta, a Mark III Jetta, and a Mark IV Jetta. Pretty cool little setup going on here. Plan for today, gotta take Miley up to Tire Kingdom, get a front end alignment, just check it out because before we left Germany, I did the fabulous two-wheeler control arms and a bunch of stuff in the front of this car. So I wanna make sure this alignment's good to go. The car rode super smooth here yesterday, but before we drive seven and a half hours to Helen, I'll make sure the toes in line, all that kind of stuff. So I'm not destroying tires. So that's on the list for today. Also, I want to get the full set of OZ Cygnus back on this car as well. So I got to try and patch one of the tires and hopefully it holds and there's no issues with that. And that's probably all for today. And then maybe tomorrow or later on this week, we have to do the oil change, um, the engine flush, the oil saver, the trans flush, all that kind of stuff. Just making sure maintenance wise on the car, she's ready to go. And then bull check the car. But for the most part, this one and this one are pretty much ready to go. It's all very minus up at this point, which I'm very thankful for. So I was very pleased to see this morning when I came out, the car still had power and it turned on by itself, which was very, very nice. But I do have the battery charger hooked up now. We're at... 96 percent and it was at 12 volts before i even hooked it up so just getting the battery back to where it's supposed to be big old red top optima so big beefy gel battery which again the car hasn't ran and it sat for quite a long time um, we had to jump it yesterday but after it ran for a couple hours yesterday seems to be charged up started this morning so that's all good beauty also i packed these things really well there's like layers and layers and layers of padding but it's worth it because they made it here oh just such a beautiful wheel this one this is the flat one so somewhere on here we got a flat and might have just been no the bead looks intact Do I see a nail? Oh, right there. Right. Right there. You can see it. I think I actually pulled the nail out still in Germany, um, but I have a plug kit, so that is very patchable. The tire still has plenty of tread, obviously, but that should be completely fine to patch and good to go. And I believe that one there is the other Cygnus. These are the two BBSs, which I might leave wrapped up. Actually, I've been thinking about it, and I mentioned on the Patreon a long time ago, I might put the BBS RCs, the ones that are on that side of the car, on the Mark II. I think those wheels with that tire size would look spot on on the Mark II. So we'll see about that. I also have my Super Advent SA3s and the Zobbers. I had a fair what wheels I want to put on the Pink Floyd. I was going to do these wheels with a paint match face on the Pink Floyd, which would look killer. But then I saw these wheels on Miley and I was like, I mean, look at that. So the Cygnus I think had to stay on this car. I mean, we can swap them around, but paint matching a face would eliminate putting these wheels on this car. So I think the Cygnus will stay on this car. The RC's probably to that car. And then I gotta decide if I wanna do my three spoke Super Advans on the Pink Floyd the Zombers on the Pink Floyd, or a different wheel. Who knows? But at least for today, we're gonna get you fixed up, get you patched up, and a full set of these things back. God, this is, look, look at this, let's appreciate this. Let's appreciate the three spoke. This is such a gorgeous wheel. And again, these wheels and these wheels, bam, beautifully built, courtesy the homie Dimitri, Retro Wheels, always hook her up. Link down below if you wanna check them out because that man, I mean, this man builds art pieces because these things, beautiful. So enough talking, let me patch this and then I'll get these back in the car. Honestly, still looking super clean. We did the Girling 54 um, brake calipers, 280 millimeter uh, Brembo rotors, H&R sway bar, 
new tie rod ends of Pappas Manufacturing, tubular control arms. We have uh, new bushings over here, new ball joint over here, uh, the airlift bag in the front. Yeah, overall, the entire set down here is still looking pretty nice. This adapter coming off, this is a 4100 250120 because these are OEM E36 wheels that we um, face mounted, polished, and rebuilt, but they are 50120. And the OZ Cygnus are 50112. And the adapters are still on the back, so I didn't have to worry about losing them. And if you're wondering the specs, I don't really remember. I think these are 17 by 7.5. Um, I don't know the offset. We had 20 mil. This is actually, this is an 18 um, mil adapter, which was definitely not big enough. I'll probably go up to like maybe a 30 for the front to get the fit where I want it. But this was an 18 mil on whatever the ET on this was, but seven and a half inch wide wheel here with the 185 35. These ones I want to say are either 17 by eight or eight and a half. They got a bit of stretch on them. They might be, no, I think they're 17 by eight ET. 45 all around 35 no 17 8 35 that sounds closer i think and we have 20 mil i want to say in the front let me see the back right here uh yeah 20 mil in the front and same in the uh the rear i am i see Appointment is at four and it's 356. Everything's fine. Hopefully she still starts. It's gonna be loud in the garage. Please still start. This car is so loud and cold start. Oh, the neighbors are not gonna like that. Race car, you know? Just, just nothing I can do. So just spoke with Peter who works here at Tire Kingdom. Super nice dude. And his first question was like, Christian, is that car gonna fit on my alignment rack? And I was like, you know, I don't know. But I can air it up pretty far. The front lip comes off. I can pull the tire skirts off. I think we can make it work. Um, if it's too much of a hassle, their other one um, down the road a little bit. It's not open till Monday, unfortunately, but that one has an in-ground alignment rack, which obviously is much easier than going up the ramp. So as soon as this van's done, we will, see how easy it is to get Miley up and down, which actually I've been on Chris's um, alignment rack back at his old shop where it was a drive up one and we made it up there. So I think we'll be okay. Like I said, front lip off, side screws off, air the car all the way. I think we'll be good. Maybe a couple pieces of wood. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. So my side screws and my front lip are off the car. She's raised way, way up. Their confidence is going to go up, so send it. Look at her rolling. Monster trucking.
This, my friends, is the beauty of Air Ride, right there. If she was static, never would this have happened. But hey, up and easy. Shout out to these guys, because they're super cool. Currently sitting at negative, actually about negative three in the front. So I might have to drop this down to about negative two, take about a degree out of it, and then we'll uh, mess with our toe. She will be all set. so good now so much better so yeah those dudes were super cool we took great care of Miley uh, we took about a half degree of camera out in the front so now sitting at about negative two on front left and front right uh, zero for the toe so my tires won't get destroyed look at this thing riding smooth getting there we're almost ready for Helen into that. Oh, we don't want to do that. All right, let's go ahead and 
cut you off from probably rattling the house to pieces. Let's do the back nice and slow here. That should be good. Actually, I actually think the rear stops on the tire. It might, oh, that's the issue. It might pop over. So I'm gonna wait on there, but the front gets pretty close. Let me see up here. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Is that all the way out? Let's see where we're at. Yeah, so rear's like one bump from popping over, so gotta be careful with that. And then the front sits, yeah. Real nice. I think it'll still drop a bit more, but nah, we're chilling. Straight chilling. Lip is literally flat to the ground. Saturated flat. That's all you need. That's all you need. Look at that. We are flat all around. We got nice fender lip fitment, but we're not destroying fenders. Let me just let me just sit down for a second. Oh, what a... just love this car. Miss this car so so much. Oh, what a beauty. Actually, let's go ahead and out the Mark IV, too, this car is sitting right up right now. So good. So in terms of prep for Helen, uh, still a handful of things to do, but the biggest thing, um, the alignment's done, making sure I can drive there and back. My front tires will not be destroyed. Um, the Cygnus are back on the car, and again, just appreciate them. Look how beautiful they are, because three spokes are just, mm, three spokes are top tier. Um, but yeah, probably tomorrow, throughout the next week, um, clear taillights back on, steering wheel back in, and then all the fluid changes, and then pretty much good to go. I have to try and find that annoying squeak on my driver's side that just drives me insane. Because I said, Larry's driving this, and this thing is like comfy, quiet on the highway, windows up, AC on, it's not rattling. This car is 26 years old. It's 97. I think it's like 26 years old currently. If my math is correct, it might not be. Um, but yeah, she's an old car. It's been a part a million times. So a lot of things rattle and squeak. And it's just part of a Mark III. I'm just not used to it anymore. I've been driving this thing in luxury. And now I'm squeaking down the road this thing. I'm not complaining. I love this car to death. But it's just it's part of the car. I'm going to end the video here. Plenty of Mark III content coming over the next couple weeks before Helen. If you're not going to Helen, there's still time to plan and go to Helen. It's a great time. Uh, just super good to see everyone hang out. Plenty of cool cars, little car meets going on throughout the week and the main show on Saturday. But overall, the entire event itself is just so much fun. The town's great. Plenty to do, good food to eat, plenty of sights to see. You can go hiking, go see the fall. Like there's lots to do outside of just cars, which makes Helen so much fun. So again, if you're not planning on going to Helen, you should rethink that and definitely go to Helen because it's well worth it. Do not forget, be thankful for a single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.